Hello, Libra. Welcome. I'm Ryan. Thanks for being here. This is going to be a general reading for you may be dealing with. Of course, everything may not resonate, so take what does and leave the rest. And for more tarot readings after this, please check out my wife's channel and probably do three tarot and she's review as well. Thank you. See what's going on. <laughs> Goodness gracious, Libra. Libra, Libra, Libra. Now, here's the thing, Libra. You show up at the same time when you're asking about them. Why am I looking at three feminines and I know two of them are you? Here you are. So who's this and who's this? This I kind of feel like is you. This I don't feel like is you, but that's definitely you. You know, this could be all you, but I don't I don't think it is. I think there's um well, let me kind of push this and we'll see. There you are again. So like I said, it's like, um, you, I mean, you, you could possibly be dealing with another Libra. That is possible. At the same time, this, this person, uh, for some reason, as I started your reading, I'm kind of like, ooh, will the floodgates open? And here we go. We have this energy game of like someone projecting you, 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 you. And it's like, okay, um, we're talking about who you're dealing with here today, but apparently... And as I, like I said, like if I just push a little bit harder, um, something does show up. I'm going to keep pushing here. You're being real difficult. It's like pulling teeth. Okay, jumping into this. Well, right away what they show me, they're clearly trying to figure something out. Um, hmm. Interesting. I don't understand this. I do, but I don't. There's clearly third party energy in this Libra. You're, you're dealing with three people. Um, more specifically, they're dealing with you and someone else. So there's a third person. But jumping into this, they show me that they have a lot going on for themselves. Um, in a sense, they're kind of sitting comfortable. They show me they're sitting comfortable, but actually they're very uncomfortable. They show me as things are progressing and moving forward for them with everything they have to be responsible for, oversee and take care of and manage and juggle. They're not too sure exactly what their next step or plan of action is going to be. Ultimately, what they're saying is, I don't care. That, that's kind of, it's like I said, someone being like, you know, I don't care about them. Why is there even a them if they're dealing with you when it comes to something like this? Because there's clearly a connection here of some sort between the two of you. They're like, I don't care about them. Why, are, why is them even there? Um, they meant something. They meant enough to be there between the two of you, clearly, because that's what they're showing me is this person is between the two of you. They're saying, I don't care. Um, okay, we'll see where this goes. Overall, by them not caring or giving a shit, they're saying that they're gaining clarity and perspective on the relationship and the connection between the two of you. It's like, hmm, interesting. They're showing me that they're kind of holding on to this connection, and I feel like that's because of financial reasons. Ultimately, they're showing me this lazy effort of whatever this is that they're working on for themselves. At the same time, they're realizing like, hmm, maybe there's a better financial opportunity here of some sort. Unless they just outright don't give a shit about you. And then they're kind of like, drop it, game over. And I'm like, why are you playing then? Stupid. 
<laughs> now let's have another now they're thinking some real shady 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 ideas here um oh my gosh yeah yeah and that's what i thought they're, they're getting a kick out of it today libra um oh they're getting a kick out of it today holy shit they're having a heyday watch out let's see where this goes there's the devil by the way at following that so not only are they thinking some shady shit um oh i can feel them boiling that's possibly why i'm like is the floodgates gonna open the frustration the irritation is building there's definitely some sort of communication here between the two of you about problems and issues it seems like it's like you know this is what's going on these are the problems and the issues they need to take care of them they want to confront them very quickly at the same time they show me that they, they show me that something is just too problematic too difficult and that's where these um thoughts begin to kick in it's interesting because these inner, it's like whoever this person or individual is, these types of thoughts about whether it's cutting corners financially, whether it's being shady and having someone on the side of the keeping hidden or secret or kept from you. Um, and I'll, I'll just show you some more. Um, they're actually quite happy and fulfilled about that. More than happy and fulfilled about that. They're kind of like, huh. Um, the fin what's that saying? The forbidden fruit tastes the sweetest. And then the devil's right there. Ah, where's this going? Ooh, <laughs> Ooh goodness gracious. Let's see. you i feel you but at the same time it's like you're the one playing around Looking at 777 Libra, they are haunted. They're haunted. They're haunted. Regarding this situation that they so claim to be all about, that's making them very more so happy and fulfilled. Um, very, I'll, I'll just say this very quickly, psychologically speaking, it, it's still a continuation. It's almost like part two of that. They're going through hell over all of this. It's part two, it's continuation. Um, and it's regarding the living situation with the two of you. Like I said, there definitely is children and kids involved in this situation. Um, they tried so adamantly to not have themselves show up in this reading for you. They decided to say, no, game face. Whoever this person is, they're very strategic with how they move, how they operate, and how they think. At the same time, they're getting their world brought in a psychological manner to where they're kind of scrambling here trying to figure out what the fuck to do regarding the two of you. They're trying to come up with some sort of solution or some sort of plan. They're getting defensive, they're getting guarded, but they're stressing the hell out. They're trying to kind of keep their cool and keep everything going. At the same time, even emotionally and mentally, they're slowly beginning to kind of lose their grip. This is an energy of losing their grip on reality, unfortunately. They they know very well that this is happening and taking place, but even as they're trying to kind of kumbaya and take their time to kind of find their inner peace, they're even uncertain about that and they're unsure about that. And then they kind of get led right back over to square one to try and figure out what the fuck am I gonna do? They're haunted. I don't know by what or by who, but there's definitely, you know, unfortunately, um, their heart. Um, their, their heart's bleeding. 
and it's dripping all over the board. So of course, if you are dealing with anyone, you could be dealing with a fire sign, an earth sign, a water sign, or an air sign. They're all here. Goodbye.